Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria Delgado. Today we are on the second video talking about my country Cape Verde, where I come from. If you haven't checked the first video, then stop this video, go, go back and uh, try to find the first video here first and then later come uh, see this uh, second one. The Republic of Cape Verde is an island country or an archipelago of 10 islands in the central Atlantic of Ocean. When we talk about our flag, the blue represents the ocean and the sky, the white represents the roads and the construction, the red represents the people, and the 10 stars represent each island of the country. Cape Verde is localized approximately 570 kilometers or 350 miles west from west of the Cape Verde Peninsula in West of Africa, near to Senegal. The Cape Verde archipelago has no people until 15th century, when Portuguese discovered and colonized it around 1456. Cape Verde was ideally localized for the Atlantic slave trade. The end of slavery in the 19th century led the economy decline and immigration was results in was results in a crisis economy. Cape Verde gradually recovered and import as an important commercial center and stopover for shipping roads. We talk about that shipping roads next video when we're gonna talk about Cape uh, about San Vicente because San Vicente was the important island of the uh, stop uh, shipping so when we come to our independence since 1975 uh, Cape Verde get free from Portugal uh, uh, what we can say is um, uh, it's not so long that we get so uh, free, but uh, Amilcar Cabral uh, was the f in the front or the head of the freedom of Cape Verde. This one, this man that's coming right now. Amilcar Cabral, this one. This next man is uh, our uh, last uh, Premier Minister, Cabral José Maria Neves, and this one is uh, no, our new Premier Minister uh, Ulysses Correa Silva and then we have our uh, President of the Republic that is uh, Jorge Carlos Fonseca. We are coming to tourism that uh, uh, what represents Cape Verde. We can say that our economy is mostly service oriented and growing focus on tourism. Um, I just let this be these pictures for you for you can see because uh, if I just gonna talk and then it's not gonna be so uh, very good video for you I want to make this picture for you can understand more about Cape Verde now we come to our military the military of Cape Verde consists of a national court having fought state only where for independence against Portugal between 1974 and 1975. Ooh, now coming the one is uh, very uh, uh, important in Cap Verde is the ethnic group. Most of Cap Verdean are mulats or mestis in Portuguese. We have mixed African and European origins. Another form is Creole meaning. It's not so many, it's not so uh, unnormal you find people like you see right now in the picture. People with different color, different color, color of eyes. And uh, it's like, uh, you can see, it's like the color is from Cape Verde and the eyes is from Europe. It's because uh, a lot of these Cape Verdean have immigrated and uh, they had to make uh, children with uh, people from Europe. And then we have 80% of the people is uh, uh, mestis. When we come to our education, the Cape Verde education system is similar to the Portuguese system. Cape Verde has the second best education system in Africa after South Africa. 
primary school education in Cap Verde is uh, mandatory and free for children between the age of 6 and 14 years old. Uh, we come to music. The Cap Verdean people are known for their musical work expressing by popular manifestation. So we have uh, our national music is Morna, Coladeira, Funana and Batuque music. Cesaria Evra was the best known for Cap Verdean single in between the world. She died, but she was uh, called like a barefoot uh, diva because she liked to perform and uh, perform on stage without uh, shoes. Then we have our names like Mayar Andrade, Sara Tavares, gain more space in the music because they was uh, uh, Cesaria Evra descendant. We have also Ilde Lop, Lura, Tit Paris. We have Zhekat Nyahinald, Nastya Gomes, uh, Beto Dias and uh, another people that take the name of Cape Verde around the world. As you can see here and also you can see um, uh, Jill Smith uh, together with um, uh, Susanna Lubran. Now we come to the uh, the one of the biggest party in Cape Verde is the Carnaval. Carnaval is make a mindel. Ooh, Carnaval is very important. Is making in the city is making the city blow up. It's like uh, in the days of the celebration. It's like uh, is Brazil in, uh, in mindel. Cape Verde, uh, Cape Verde uh, Carnaval uh, take many people from Europe to Mindelo uh, in, the, in, the, in the week, uh, in the last week of the February month. It's like um, many people come from all, all the other Cape Verde is living outside and uh, they can, the one can come, they come to the dead party. It's many European people also come to that party because it's very, very, very important for Cape Verde and Cape Verdean, but it's, be, it's become just like a tradition for us. Um, yes. Uh, what can I say more is uh, we have uh, we have um, our national music like uh, Morna, Coladeira, Funana, Batuk. We have uh, Samba, and that we we get from Latin country, and uh, we we have our great our uh, another great potential. So. Um, now I'm gonna tell you as like about our religion. Around 95% of the population in Cape Verde as are Christian and, and uh, Protestants represent 5% of the people. So guys, I did make this narration for this video because I get a problem with my camera. It was not like this I was supposed to make the video, but I hope it's uh, it's helpful and you can know more about uh, more if you want to know more about Cape Verde, you can always go to Google and uh, and Google Cape Verde and you find out more about our culture, our tradition uh, about. Uh, about many things that uh, we have in uh, Cape Verde. I'm going to make an invitation to you to, to stay with me in this series and find out. Uh, I find out more about uh, my country or go to Google and, uh, and uh, write and read more about Cape Verde. It's very, very, very beautiful country to you can uh, go to holiday, uh, uh, especially special uh, in uh, winter when uh, when Europe is very, very cold. Cape Verde is uh, is uh, have a very nicely uh, uh, weather. Or I I hope you get interest for get more to know more about uh, about Cape Verde. This was for today and uh, uh, next video next video. 
we will talk about Santan Town, that is the first island of Cape Verde. You will see how different it is from one island to another island, uh, even in the same country. S uh, different weather, different culture, different tradition, different language, but still the same country. I see you next time and uh, hi hi!